hello guys welcome to microsoft asp.net mbc tutorial on how to do paging on any kind of list let's start to do the paging we will make an action result here in home controller before that we need to add a um, package manager console code here to install a paged list that is paged list.mbc we need to install pagetlist.mbc to make a pagination here. Let's see the code of that package manager console. In package manager console, you need to type this line of code install package pagetlist.mbc and hit enter. Your package will be installed. I have already installed. Here you can see the message successfully installed pagerlist.mbc and my version is 4.5.0. You don't need to add any kind of nugget or anything from package manager console. It will automatically install uh, install pager list for you. Okay. Let's move on to creating our action result here. I'll create an action result named index to show a list of student here. My student class is as follows. My student class has simple fields that is yes ID, yes name, yes address, and yes phone. Okay, similarly I have context to attach to the database and in my context I have used a DB set student students as object and get set method. Okay, let's move back to our home controller and add an action result index it will be public action result name will be index just return view okay now let's add our string context here in context db new string context now we will pass our string list to our view let's make a um, object of our string class we have this string class we will make a object of this string class let's create that let's make it a list student student list new student list okay let's pass that student list from db db means our database dot table name that is students dot to list to send all the list of students in our view let's put it here and send it to our view this much line of code will not pagination but it will just show a list of students in our view let's create a view of index since we have not any view of index here now we will create a view add view in view just give name index and we will use a template of listing that is list and in model since i have used strength class model must be strength okay and the data context will be strength context i have strength context here so we will use the student context and use default layout page don't make partial view use default layout page ok simply click on add this will make a list which we will be able to see the name of a student address and phone 
okay let's run it and check it out while this loads up let's see what we have done till now at first we have gone to package manager console and added up a package that is page list.mbc this line of code will install our page list.mbc in our project later we made a action result in our home controller with name index and we have attached our string context and given the object name db and have created a list from string class and that list is uh, filled with db.students.toList that is connecting to database to the table students and getting a list of students and putting into the student list driver and passing it to our view let's see the result and in our result that is in our view we have we are viewing our student list which has a student name a student address and a student phone which is a simple list without pagination now we need to make our pagination here let's do the job of pagination for pagination we will be using page list that is you must use page list that is since we have installed page list.mbc we must use using page list since it haven't used till now it will not be white it is slightly dim here now let's add that page list for that we'll use code here that is we'll use three two variables here int page size int page number and return that student list into two pages list just edit lines are now put a variable here parameter name will be page which may be null now instead of students just put student list okay we have added these three lines these three lines means at first when we when the you are user hears the url uh, there at first there will not be any page number but when we hit the next button in that pagination page we will get how many pages to display mm, as default we will send three page size and page number similarly that student list will be sent to page list and that page list will display, display according to the page number or the button you have clicked that is next or previous okay now another thing we need to add is some uh, div in our uh, index that is we have created our index in index we will put a code here below the table that is this line of code is necessary to make a view of pagination that is at first line just a div with margin 5px and in next line page and model dot page count must be less than model dot page number and if that condition meets 0 otherwise 
module dot page number of module dot page count just put that code without any hesitation you will run that immediately html dot page list pager module comma page simplifies url dot action index new page sort order vback dot current sort current filter equals to vback dot current filter just this line of code in our view okay just this line of code in our view why this is getting red let's fix it to fix it in top side of that HTML code we need to add this line of code okay since we have using I in revival of a string class now that will be replaced with using page list at MBC and model page list dot i page list with asp dot net tutorial dot models dot student that is your project name dot models dot student okay now let's check it out while this loads up let's see what we have done till now We have created action result and passed a list and with page size, page number and a paginated list. Let's see what happens. A error must be shown here because we have used that same models field in that table heading. Let's remove that. Here we must not write for before pagination it was okay but after pagination it doesn't accept directly so you need to type hardcore name here student name address okay what we have done here this line of code okay and this lines of code okay let's check it out since here we must not use in that way we must use in this way that is like this okay let's reload it again in this way we have created our list in a paginated way we have created pagination in our ASP.NET project in any kind of list Okay, click on to you will see another page here each page contains two number of data here we are in page two of two now in one now in two back next in this way page in single while you click on to here the page is changed to two as default it has null value but when we click on this buttons that page will be changed okay guys in this way we can do pagination in our asp.net project if you have any question you can ask me in comment okay guys thanks for watching